vlog yeah it feels kind of weird because i was vlogging yesterday but i ended yesterday's vlog um because it was getting really long and i'm just picking it up again today i got up this morning did my makeup i am now about to head out i've got a laser hair removal consultation so i will let you guys know how it goes yeah i want to get laser hair removal for a multitude of reasons this is in no way me saying people everyone has to shave at all you want to grow your hair and never shave you know i'm such a supporter of that this is just me personally and am i influenced by society probably a little bit but who isn't to be honest that's what i'm doing this morning i'm quite excited to be honest it's something i've been wanting to do for a while and i watched helen anderson's video that she did a while ago about her experience with laser hair removal and that just kind of solidified like I want to do this and then later on I'm getting my nails done and I'm also just doing a little bit of housework and basically Morgan and Emily are moving in tomorrow cannot wait but I have a few of my things that are like in places where they'll probably want to put their things so I just need to move some of my things around and make sure that I'm not taking up too much room. It's a very rainy day here today and I kind of don't mind it to be honest because it has been really warm um, but I'm just hoping it doesn't pour down because I've got quite a long walk to the clinic. So here is today's outfit. Got on this crop cardi from Zara I think. I think it's Zara. Um, my jeans from another stories which I got in my last vlog. Converse Reggae Priest bag. Hey, so I'm procrastinating, laying on my bed. Um, I have a few things to do. I've got like a list of like the things that don't need done right now but I have time so I want to get it done right now like I need to register with a new doctor order my sister's birthday presents things like that I'm gonna have a massive double chin laying like this never mind um but yeah the laser hair removal consultation did not go well basically I'm on doxycycline for my skin and I thought oh they told me when I'm on that I have to avoid the sun uh, and you know you have to be really careful because it makes your skin more sensitive to the sun so i was like hmm that isn't great um so i thought oh maybe a laser because that's really hot wouldn't be good so i did a lot of research i searched on google and i was like can you get laser hair removal when you're on doxycycline and everywhere said that they'd never found any adverse reactions um, I don't know if I was just reading in the total wrong place, but basically I did do my research and then I went in today, sat down and she, the first thing she said was just sorry, so yeah, you're not suitable because you're on doxycycline. And like, obviously it is not their fault, but I did kind of think, I had to fill in a form before my appointment, before I even went there. Like, why couldn't they have told me beforehand? I wasn't going to be suitable unless they literally just read it as I turned up which is possible um yeah it's not their fault and it's my fault I should have tried to look into it more or whatever yeah I went all that way and literally was in there for a matter of minutes but hey ho then went got some birthday cards for my uh, family and friends' birthdays coming up so I'm not going to show that in case they watch this also I went into a vintage shop yeah I went into a vintage shop and got this ring on my pinky. 
I've been looking for a pinky ring for this hand and I saw this ring and I really really liked it. Um, I was trying on some ones that were just like bands but because I have a band on this finger already I wanted something a little bit different but not crazy colourful and I really like it. It is a bit big um, so I'm hoping it's not going to slip off. I think the woman was a bit wary to let me buy it because it was a bit big but I was like it's my problem if it falls off. Now I'm going to get on with my random tasks that I can't be bothered to do. I've got to go out in that later. Well, this will be fun. I think that'll look good, but but then wouldn't shouldn't you have it so it opens the other way if the closed rail is going to be there? What do you mean? Opens this way instead of this way if the closed rail is going to be right in front of it for getting it open. Okay, so Morgan and Emily are now here. I don't know if I did vlog much this morning because I was doing uni work all morning. And then they've just come in with their families and we went out for pizza which was nice and it feels a lot nicer that I'm not on my own in the flat anymore because yeah it's just nice to have everyone in but they're just unpacking uh, and then I think we're gonna go where are we going B&M? Yeah. yeah because Morgan needs um, pillows and underbed storage but yeah I'll do a little introduction so in this room which I'll show you guys when it's done is Emily Hello. <laughs> and Tell them a bit, like, what are you doing at uni? So I'm away to start my fourth year of medicine at the University of Edinburgh. So I'm actually getting ready to start on Monday. Um, so yeah, I'm just nervous, stressed out, but no, I'm really excited to be here. Yeah, it's hectic, but it'll be good. Yeah, I what, know, absolutely. What's your most thing that you're excited about? I'm excited to act to live people live with people that I like yes, rather than me too. You know, it being an awkward thing living in halls. Me too. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited to actually just all of us just like make the house like the flat like our own. It'll yeah. Be, I'm just excited to live with you guys. Yeah, I know. And we've waited so long. <laughs> Take it away. Who's this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Morgan, and what are you studying? I'm studying psychology of time. <laughs> <laughs> And what are you most excited about? Um, living here with you. Good answer. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of these guys now that we all live together and I'm sure we'll be getting up to lots of fun things that I will vlog. Okay, so Morgan and Emily have just gone out to get some KFC, um, which I didn't realise they're not doing a vegan burger anymore. I'm so upset, so I'm just getting chips and some rice because I'm starving. But um, this is what has now happened with the kitchen. It looks so much better. Um, so yeah, we moved the table over here. Well, I say we, Morgan basically I rearranged it, but yeah, and she got this little table, um, what do you call it, tablecloth thing this for us to write what we're doing through the week and then Morgan and Emily got these like um, throws and cushions which just make the living room look a lot better and then obviously I mean it's living room and kitchen but I just think it looks so much better like this. I'm gonna leave it here because I'm gonna wait for them to get back and then they haven't watched last night's Love Island so 
but probably watch it a bit again then face time Ryan and go to bed but yeah I know it's not been the most eventful vlog but you know they've just moved in they had their families there and things so I don't want to be shoving the camera in people's faces yeah I'll vlog a bit tomorrow if anything happens I don't think I'm really planning on doing anything tomorrow but we'll see morning everyone so last night the chips and the rice I had were nice and then went to bed I've been up this morning doing a bit of dissertation work and we're about to go meet Emily because she had a job interview and then we're going to go to, I keep calling it the St James Centre but it's the St James Quarter and uh, because um, Emily wants some trousers. I think I filmed in there the other day so I don't know if I'll really film much but I've just got on um, my top which I think it's ASOS and then the jeans I got the other day and the Converse and Morgan isn't dressed but I will do an interview of her first night. Morgan? How was your first night's sleep? Um, I'm gonna rate it at five out of ten. Do you think it has potential to get better? I think I don't have a choice. Yeah. The mattresses are like, I'm fine because I think I could sleep on bricks, but I think for a normal person, they're, they're not the comfiest, but hey ho. So I'm going to be quite quiet because I'm not sure if Morgan and Emily are still asleep and the walls in this place are this thin. I feel like this vlog is a bit of a fail. Obviously my two friends have been moving in so I've been helping them and not always wanting to whip the camera out. But I think I'm going to end it here because today I'm going down to my grandma's. She lives in Yorkshire so we're going to be going down there um, for a few days. I'm not going to vlog it, I just want to chill. Um, I'm going to try and get next week's video edited before I go and then all I have to do while I'm there is um, six hours of uni work which isn't too much. Um, we're not going to be going out and doing loads. Uh, my grandma is kind of quite anxious with Covid still which a lot of people are and, just, and it's understandable so we're just not going to. I've done a lateral flow. Um, I did one yesterday before we go down and I'll do another one while I'm there because we're going to be seeing my great grandma who is almost a hundred, um, so obviously very vulnerable and I'm gonna make sure that I'm fine but I am double vaccinated and I've had Covid so yeah honestly it'll just be really nice to see them because it's been so long but yeah hope you enjoyed this vlog, kind of a bit hectic but everyone's moved in now and the flat just feels so much more homely and like somewhere I really want to spend time especially what we've done to the living room kitchen area which if I haven't already shown in this vlog you guys will get to see I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you guys in the next one bye